Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. For this video, we're heading off to Riding on Stone Provincial Park. This was um, a bit of a last minute trip. We found our way driving through the Drumheller area, as you see here, through their valleys. And the scenery starts getting pretty similar to Riding on Stone. Some dinosaurs, of course, lit Drumheller. Unfortunately, because the time constraints, we didn't have time to stop there. The park is uh, located about 100 kilometers southeast of Lethbridge, or 32 kilometers east of the town of Milk River on Highway 501. And we got there, and as you can see, we're setting up our camp. And once we got our tent set up here, we were pretty eager to check out the area around the campground. And as you can see, it was very nice. Really nice. This is a beautiful park. If you're wanting to uh, visit something in Canada here that's kind of like Utah, this gets near it, I guess. Yeah, here's a map here of the park. That trail I pointed out to is the Hoodoo Trail one will be taking to the petroglyphs. The park serves as both a nature reserve as well as a uh, protection site for First Nations rock carvings. And uh, with the park being sacred to the Blackfoot and other First Nations. Because of this, the park is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and they had that designation back in 2019. This is the Milk River right now, which goes around the campground through the site. Not uh, rock art, but pretty nice at the same time. Lots of flowers, lots of nature. As I mentioned before, the uh, the park is also a nature reserve and you'll be seeing lots of animals. It was not hard to find animals here. It was still some light left, so we decided we wanted to check out some of the rock formations in the area. Just for your information, the rocks are sedimentary and been exposed over time in the Milk River Valley due to glaciation and such and the rocks are said to be formed about 85 million years ago. Yeah, this little guy, we heard him squeaking there, and his mother must have been somewhere else, but they're pretty tame um, around this park. The deer, as you'll see, are pretty tame and don't really spend a lot of time worrying about us, unless we startle them or something like that. The park is said to be the greatest concentration of rock art in North America, uh, North American Great Plains that is, but I would be interested in hearing comments on that, I'm sure there's others. Some cliff swallow nests, I believe, that nest up there, unfortunately because it's not spring, it was September when we went, there was no birds actually there. It was really hard to edit this video down. At the end, I think I'm just under 20 minutes, and there's a photograph or an image around every corner. It was difficult to really get this edited down. And everywhere you went, it was, it was um, just nature everywhere, and just amazing views. This uh, site is actually very near the Montana border, and some of the scenes you'll see, there's actually a mountain 
in the horizon. That's actually on the Montana side. But it's it really is an amazing place. Mm -hmm. Here's some rock art here. We were trying to decide whether this was First Nations or something mm -hmm. a little more contemporary. Uh, one of the unfortunate problems of this park is that people have come in and sketched their names and other things. And it is becoming a bit of a problem for the park, which is quite unfortunate, really. It looked like native art, but if anybody knows, please put a comment below. Because of the evening light here, it just really shone, this place. As I mentioned before, we got here about, I guess about early September. So the light was getting nice and low during this time of year. You can see those mountains that I mentioned in the background there on the Montana side. Yeah, these little guys are everywhere, little rabbits. I'm not sure if this is a full-grown rabbit or not. They all seemed half-grown to me. But again, not overly afraid of humans in this park. So that was it. It was time to get back to the campsite and cook some food. Got some wood for the fire. Actually, the wood was really cheap at $10 a bundle. Uh, other parks we've been in around here can be as high as 26, so that's pretty good. And for me, a camp is not really a camp without a fire. And with that, the day came to the end for the first night. Very clear evening with the moon. It was next morning. Can't say I slept very well. For some reason when I'm in a camp or tenting, I never sleep well the first night. I gotta be tired for the next, I guess. And off with that, we went down the Hoodoo Trail to see some rock art and some more rock formations. The park is, uh, has indicated that uh, there's over 50 petroglyph sites. However, most are not public access, with some by guided tours. We found three along this trail. So because of, again, vandalism and such, they don't have a lot of these on public display. The one at the end, the battle scene here, is actually behind a cage because there had been some vandalism in the past. Beautiful shot of the trail to come as well as the Milk River there. It's pretty dry down there. A lot of ranching country in this area. Not uh, suitable for farming from what I could tell. It's interesting because when we went there, we've had a pretty dry year here in Alberta. And, but to me, this area seemed like it was getting near a semi-arid climate. Again, a beautiful morning. Here's one of the stations here where you're supposed to look at the rock art.
I believe that's depicting a human on the left with other markings. Not really sure. If anybody's an expert on symbolism, please let me know. This is the first time I've ever seen anything like this, so I was really engrossed. It was cool. And some deer off across the river. Again, as I said before, it was really hard to keep these videos short, but it was really hard this one. There was literally a shot around every corner. It's just beautiful, this area. there you'll see some deer running they were actually down here in the valley but by the time I got up they'd already run to the peak yeah there's a few cactuses in the area so if you're one to wear open toed shoes don't <laughs> mind you that being said, you're only going to run into trouble if you get off the trail, and it's recommended, of course, to stay on trails. And the trails were plentiful as it was. Beautiful view of the valley there. You can see the signs of a water erosion everywhere carving out the rock over the years. They did put stairs in, which I found interesting. Just beautiful. Unbelievable. And again, unfortunately, the videos just don't do them justice. Here's another petroglyph or rock art. If I remember correctly, I believe it's depicting a bison. Both of these. Again, it's really cool. The videos just don't do these justice. I definitely recommend you go here check it out yourself from what I understand a lot of the carvings are about 3500 to 4500 years old but uh, First Nations have been in the area for 9000 years or longer buildings in the distance are the uh, outpost that was once the Northwest Mounted Police that was originally set up in 1887 to combat the cross-border risky trade in the area. You can do uh, tours there, but we had no time. This is the main one, and it depicts the, um, uh, the retreat up the hill battle in 1866 which was described by the Blackfoot elder Bird Rattle. And there's a quick shot just giving you an idea because again it was very difficult to get good images of this. And when you've got other people wanting to see the, the rock art as well you have to take your turns. You could see the caged in like structure of it I actually one time worked for Alberta Parks, and I remember the vandalism happening here, and it was interesting. It was, I'll just say that uh, blame was being thrown around. But as you can see, they're doing their best to protect it at this point.
bit of a description there. But yeah, it's almost like you're in a penitentiary, isn't it? The way it's caged, uh, caged up there. We went back to the river here, and this is facing the Battle River. Or the battle scene, I should say. And again, deer everywhere. These guys, they have long ears. I'm assuming these guys are full grown, but they still look like babies to me. Again, not afraid of us at all. There was the two of us, and then there was another two up just the hill there watching them. Not concerned. More interest in their leaves. It was nice. I was expecting to see the, the rock formations and the rock art. I wasn't expecting to see the animals, so it was a, a really nice treat. It was nice. After that, we decided to go back to this area, which was just east, I believe, of the campground. And it was amazing walking through here. I felt like I was in the uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade movie, where at the beginning there with River Phoenix, these uh, Boy Scout, and they're going through the mountains of Utah, I believe it was. That's what it felt like through here. It really was cool. Beautiful place. Just amazing. We had some time. This is coming up to our second and last night here at the campground. and We wanted to just take in the place one more time before we got back to the campground. Oh yeah, the uh, the border. There's a rancher on the other side of this fence, and they made it pretty clear that this is the limit. So we walked back. We had enough to see it anyway, as you can see. But beautiful, beautiful. And you can't come to a river without skipping a few rocks. And it gave us a chance to relax for the evening. That was it. The last evening came, and it was time to start that fire up again. The tea bag is right there. <laughs> it got dark, and the coals were starting to show pretty well. We wanted to just make sure the fire was out here before we went to bed, so we're making sure it was burned well. It was pretty dry down there the, when we stayed. Didn't want to take any chances. But beautiful. Beautiful. Next morning came, and it was time to get ready to go back home. And as said before, I slept better. for breakfast and then after that pack up and leave sadly it was a really good trip thanks for stopping by the channel see you soon